if you guys follow my Facebook and Instagram page, you'll probably know that I'm doing an enclosure upgrade for my Singapore Blue. In one of my previous videos, I did mention that I'm slowly going to transfer my tees into either glass or acrylic enclosures. And I've always wanted a nice tall enclosure for my Singapore Blue. Now as you can see, she's only about 5 to 6 inches. There she is. And I read they can get well over 8 inches, so this large enclosure would be perfect when she grows into it. So starting from the bottom, we have of course the substrate which is coconut fiber with some chunks of coconut husk and sphagnum moss. And then of course there's a water dish, a pebble, some plastic plants, there's a rock in the back there. And then we have this driftwood, which I've had for years just lying around, didn't know what to do with it. And then some more plastic plants and there's a cow skull. Yes, this is a real cow skull. I think it makes a nice little decor in there. Well, this enclosure is a little bit big for her as for now, but she will grow into it. However, there are quite a bit of hiding places, including this nasal passage of the cow skull. She can go in and hide there when she wants. It's big enough, definitely big enough. By the way, this enclosure is 2 feet in height, 1 feet in width, and 1 feet in depth. A couple of months back, you may have seen that she was rehoused in this enclosure. But after several weeks, mold started to break out. As you can see, there's even a mushroom in here. Yo, what is this? Um, there's mold everywhere. Look down there. Mold. I'm pretty sure these stuff are mold as well. This, look at that! And that is why we'll be transferring her. That is one massive upgrade for her. The lid that I've made for this enclosure is very similar to the other glass tanks. Here it is. And here's the back of it. And it fits perfectly on top just like that some good ventilation on the top for those who are concerned oh by the way the avix are out because i just turned on the light before filming this video and they were just wandering around this is the amazonica this is the guiana metallica is still hiding as always but urticans pearl purple is out so three out of four AVIX are out today, so that's awesome. But anyways, without further ado, let's get this Singapore Blue into a new enclosure. I did feed her yesterday, so she's a little bit plump. And there she is. By the way, she was in this enclosure. I just transferred her into this one a couple days back because when it comes to mold, I am paranoid. But let's get her into her new enclosure and hopefully she cooperates with us. So how am I going to do this? Like, tilt it down like this? Oh, uh-oh. Alright, I'll just put it down like this. Actually, let's move it. Oh, come on, girl. Let's not bolt. Let's not... Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. This is really scary. So now I'm hoping that she will come out and go down this plastic container and not like jump on this glass and bolt out okay so now is the time i'm going to poke her don't bolt don't bolt be gentle girl come on Here she comes. Uh-oh, she's on the glass. I want her to go down. Come on, girl. Let's go down. Okay, so far so good. Let's go down, girl. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, this enclosure looks massive for her. But, like I said, she will grow into it.
that's the size compared to my hand. I'm positive that she will enjoy this enclosure because there's so many hiding places for her. And of course, it's a tall arboreal enclosure, just as how these guys like it. Although she does enjoy burrowing a lot. But that will be it for today's video. Just wanted to show you guys what new enclosure I've got this girl upgraded to. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Maybe it inspired you to decorate something like this. I don't know, but I, I'm pretty proud of this. I quite like the setup to be honest. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.